YouTube, what's going on guys? It's your boy Subconscious back with another video. Hope this video finds you guys at a good spot in your day, as always. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Here we go guys. Today I want to talk a little bit about a relationship with God, you know what I mean? And what that looks like for me and what I've realized, you know, God put something on my heart today, you guys, to where uh, I was just feeling a little bit off, man. You know, I've been having a, like, a period of time to where I don't know how to explain it, but I get the only way I could describe it is that I've been living worldly, I guess. You know, I've been very busy and I've been like, you know, trying to be a little bit more social, you know, and that left me with some time to where I, I guess I wasn't putting in enough time. That's basically what God was telling me is that I haven't been putting in enough time with him, you know, spending quality time. And the message that he gave me today to bring to you guys is that. A relationship with God is a two-way street, okay? And it's just like a relationship with another person, all right? So you have to be putting in effort. You know, effort is needed to keep the relationship alive. You can't just be out here just kind of willy-nilly and just kind of aimlessly, you know, oh, I'm going to fit in, you know, 30 seconds for a little prayer at the end of the day. Or I'm going to fit in, you know, a minute to, you know, when the good things happen, I'm going to say thank you, you know, or different things like that. It has to be... Think about it as if God was literally another human being, you know, whether that be one of your friends or maybe your significant other, um, and then you're over here just do, doing the bare minimum, right? That other person isn't going to be showing you the, the effort that, that maybe you're looking for, all right? Those kind of things are a two-way street, and that's exactly how it is with God. And that's what he put on my heart today, and, you know, I ended up uh, reading some scriptures. You know, I was reading... Um, Matthew for a little bit today and then I was listening to uh, a sermon listening to a couple different things and, and guys that's what it takes it takes deliberate action you know what I mean it takes time spent with God you can't just be out here and just you know it's hard to explain but just operating aimlessly you know and not focusing your thoughts and not not intentionally uh, spending your time you know, with God and, you know, with your thoughts, you know, in the heavenly places and with thinking, you know, trying to mold your thoughts because that's what God does. You know, he, he molds our thoughts and he gets us into a place to where, you know, we could start thinking positively. We could start experiencing his grace and his mercy. And um, that's exactly what it takes, you guys. If you step back, God will step back. Think about it if, if someone else in your life a friend of yours that you know you, you're close with and then all of a sudden they just stop putting in the effort you know you're hitting them up all the time but they're just not uh, responding back to you you know that's how God feels when we go about our day and we start our day you know you go right to the coffee pot in the morning without saying your prayers or you get right on your phone without saying your prayers you know that's going to end up with God wanting to distance himself from you and you know it's not that he wants to punish us but he wants us to know how important it is, you know, to stay in constant connection with him. He just wants us to check in. You know, that's really it. Think about think about it as a as a relationship or a friendship. Literally, you guys. I've said that a couple times now, but that's the message that he wanted me to bring to you guys today. Is that even if you don't feel like it, even if it feels repetitive, that is what God appreciates. You guys, is that every day that we're coming to him and we're checking in with him, you know, on a daily basis. And putting in that time, whether it be through prayer, meditation, reading the scriptures, reading the Bible, meditating on the word, listening to sermons, listening to other content creators who talk about God. Anything that's going to get your mind off of this world and out of the flesh and into the spirit. That's what it is. That's what it takes. And if the longer that you go and you don't do that, you know, you're going to start feeling restless. Your spirit is going to start feeling restless. And that's what I was experiencing uh, this morning, you guys, until I ended up getting into the scriptures and, and just, you know, I said said some pretty uh, sincere prayers and, and just kind of locked in and tapped in with, uh, with the kingdom, you know. And now I definitely feel a little bit better, but, you know, the message is still on my heart that I need to, you know, maybe uh, tighten it up a little bit, right, my relationship with God. So maybe this is a sign for you, you know, that you need to do this as well. But uh, like I said, guys, it's like a relationship. It takes effort. So think about God as another person, you know, and if you're not putting in that effort, of course he's not going to be there. You know, he, he's always there, you know, in the background. But I'm saying, like, 
that real strong connection that maybe you know guys like us can feel when we're on semen retention and stuff like that to where you guys know what I'm talking about you know the days where you feel really tapped in you know maybe you'll go a couple days where you don't feel like that and that's feeling distant from God so you got to put in the work guys you got to get you know into prayer meditation start reading the scriptures meditating and spending intentional time with God and that's what's going to help you know get that connection stronger and get you feeling better all right so much love guys hopefully you guys got something out of this as always and uh, I'll catch you guys next time peace